What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a barcode scanner and generator in Visual Basic using Visual Studio 2015. So first of all I have a form here, I have a picture box, I have a text box, scan button, generate button, save button and load button. And for this tutorial we'll be using a library that is called messaging toolkit for barcode so what you're gonna wanna do is right click on the references and click add reference and browse for the library and add it and here you go it's added to your references list so what you're gonna wanna do next is double click on the generate button and we're going to type dem generator as new messaging toolkit dot barcode dot barcode encoder and then between the try catch block we're going to type picture box one dot image equal new bitmap and between two brackets we're going to type generator dot encode and here we're going to provide the format of the barcode and the content um, that we're going to encode so for selecting the format we're going to type messaging toolkit dot barcode dot barcode format dot and here we have a bunch of formats that we can select from. I'm going to go with code 39 and then a comma and then our um, string text which is in text box 1 dot text. Okay and uh, now we're going to double click on the scan button and type dem scanner as new messaging toolkit dot barcode dot barcode decoder and then dem result as messaging toolkit dot barcode dot result and then result is equal to scanner dot decode and then we're going to provide the image as a bitmap so new bitmap and between two brackets picture box one dot image and then we're going to display a message with the decoded text we just need to put this between a try catch block to avoid any exceptions that may lead to crashing the application and after this line we are going to type message message box in between two brackets the string that is going to be displayed in the message box which is result dot text okay so now we're going to make the code for the save button and the load so we're going to first of all double click on the save button and we're going to type dem sd as new save file dialog sd dot filter oops dot filter is equal to um, I'm going to save the images in png format so I'm going to type png file and then a uh, pipe and then asterisk dot png and we're going to type if sd dot show dialog equal dialog result dot ok so the user press the save button then what you're gonna wanna do is between the try catch block try to save it in the um, selected location or selected file name so picture 
box one dot image dot save and between two brackets we're going to provide the file name and also the format of the image so first of all the file name which is sd dot file name and then a comma and then the format which is imaging dot image format dot png okay and for the load we're going to double click on the load button and type dem od as new open file dialog and then we're going to type od dot initial directory we're going to set the initial directory to the desktop so it's equal to my dot computer dot file system dot special directories dot desktop and after this if od dot show dialog is equal to dialog results or dialog result dot ok then between the try catch block we're going to try to load this image in our picture box so picture box one dot load and we're going to provide the file name which is od the file name okay i guess that's it let's try the program let's start it okay so we're going to provide a uh, barcode created our own barcode one two three four five six generate there you go so this is the barcode you can also add the the uh, the the code itself I mean the numbers down here okay so we're going to do this so in the generate button we're going here to type generator dot include label equals true and generator dot label the custom label equals text box one dot text let's give it a shot so one two three four five six generate here you go. So we're going to save this to the desktop barcode. Okay, here we go. This is our barcode. And uh, if we try to decode this barcode or scan it, here we go. If we load a barcode, maybe like like this one, and scan it. Here we go. So that's it guys for this tutorial and thanks a lot for watching.